Welcome back to the bulk. Currently weighing in at 87.65 kg. And today is leg day. And for once, I haven't spent the whole morning munching on bran flakes. And there's probably a bit of a hidden motivation for that. The fact that going out for a little dinner tonight for my uh, neighbor's birthday. So we're going to an Indian restaurant. So that should be good. So obviously want to save a few calories for that. Make sure I'm not being too excessive with my eating today. So yeah, should have everything under control. Anyway, without further ado, let's get some breakfast. So first up, I've got some scrambled egg and avocado as per usual. Then for my pre-workout meal, I've got some porridge oats with whole milk, protein powder, apple, banana, and cinnamon on top. So I began my leg day as per usual with some barbell back squats. And as you're seeing here, I did several warm-up sets, starting with just the bar, then one plate on each side, then one and a half plate on each side, and then finally reaching 90 kg for my top set. And yeah, this is big progress for me. This is the first time squatting 90 kilos since I injured my spine deadlifting about four or five months ago now. No, that's a bit too far. Four months ago, I'd say. And yeah, it was feeling good. I mean, struggled with the last couple reps of the last set, but still managed to grind out eight reps on all three of my sets. And yeah, overall feeling good and definitely heading in the right direction squat wise. Next up, we have our barbell Romanian deadlifts. And today I really tried to focus on just feeling the tension in my hamstrings and keeping my legs as straight as possible. And I think I did a pretty damn good job, especially burn wise, because my hamstrings were absolutely on fire after this these sets. So I did three top sets at 85 kg. So keeping it the same as last session, because as I said, wanted to focus on emphasizing the squeeze and trying to keep my legs a bit straighter than I was before. Now, reviewing the footage at the moment, obviously there is still a slight bend in my knees, but overall much better than last session. And I'm probably gonna stick with this weight during my next leg session as well, just to really master the form here. Because I think this is an exercise that you can really get a lot out of for your hamstring development overall. Anyway, next up, we have a superset of some leg extensions with hip abductors. So obviously first up with the leg extensions up to 57 and a half kg now on this exercise. And yeah, these have just been feeling so much better since adjusting the seat position in my last leg day. It's made an absolutely huge difference to this movement. Feels like it's if firing exclusively in my quads as it's meant to be because it's a leg extension and I also just feel that the range of motion is a lot smoother and I'm able to grind out more partial reps at the end of the set which is obviously going to equate to some significant high hypertrophy gains if you're about that training to failure life. Now when you see me doing these partial reps I wouldn't say I'm going to absolute 100% failure. I'm saying there's probably one full rep left in the tank that I could really grind out, but instead I like to substitute that with about three or four partial reps, depending on how many I can do, basically. So the partial reps are kind of to failure, but I would say that there is definitely one full rep left in the tank at the end of most of my sets. Some do go to absolute failure. And I think that's the kind of balance I'm looking for at the moment and the intensity I'm looking for. Anyway, next up onto some hip abductors. I'm up to 72.5 kg here on this exercise, which is pretty significant considering I only started doing these about two or three weeks ago. So yeah, I think it's a exercise that's pretty easy to progressively overload on because yeah, this is a movement that you're inherently very strong in, you know, moving your legs in close together. It's a movement that you do very frequently throughout the day. And I remember in the early days of my training when I didn't have access to a gym membership and was just working with bands and dumbbells, the side leg raise was something that I used to always include in my routines. So through doing that, I definitely developed some pretty strong hip abductors. And obviously there's still a lot of room for improvement, hence why I'm now incorporating them in the routine as part of this superset. Next up, we have some leg curls to really finish off our hamstrings and isolate them. And yeah, once again, the new seat position here and has allowed me first of all to apply so much more pressure and tightness with the, I don't know what you call that, the little bar kind of thing on, that sits on top of my legs that really like holds you in place. And 
yeah, it just allows you to get so much more intensity out of the set. Whereas with the seat position I was using before, I was moving around quite a bit. So I was definitely exerting more energy, just keeping myself in place rather than on the movement itself. I think that's something a lot of people forget about their exercises. If you're exerting your energy in other ways, then the intensity isn't going to be the same. And that's not just in terms of like physical movement, energy exertion, but also mental energy exertion. Like if you've got thoughts in your mind during your set, you're not going to be able to train as intensely because your brain is using up a ridiculous amount of energy. So if you can really focus in on the movement itself and focus in on the contraction of the muscle, then you're going to be able to also dedicate more of your body's energy to that muscle in the exercise. And yeah, that's a lot of bro science right there, but it seems to make sense. And I definitely feel that the workouts where I'm not listening to music, I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to minimize all the inputs into my brain and make sure that I'm fully present whilst doing the exercise. They're always the better workouts and give me the best pumps. And to finish off the leg pump, we have some calf raises. Now, as you may know, if you watch my videos a lot or just by seeing my calves on the screen, I do have pretty well developed calves. So I do not spend a crazy amount of time doing calf training. I do one triple drop set, which you're about to see obviously sped up in like 10 times motion, where I just focus on really controlling the form, controlling the range of motion, making sure I grind out as many reps as I can on each set, starting heavy and then progressively just lowering the weight by 15 kilos at a time until my calves just feel completely dead. And I think just having this one absolutely insanely intense set per leg session is enough to maintain and potentially even grow my calves a bit. And ultimately, that is the goal with my calves at the moment. Anyway, onto the leg pump check. And yeah, the camera angle is not looking the greatest here. As you can see, the gym was fairly busy today as it was a Saturday and it closes pretty early. But anyway, pump is looking very decent indeed. And yeah, definitely those hamstrings were popping out quite a bit. And obviously there was still some core training to finish up with. So we did some decline crunches with a 15 kilo plate. Now, for some reason today, these were just feeling ridiculously intense. I just felt like I was potentially more limited on the range of motion, but it might have been to do with the position that I had the bench on, to be honest, because I think it might have been on less of a decline than it usually is. And for some reason, I just made these all the more intense, but not complaining as I got really good contractions on my abs. And most people don't train abs with weight, which I find kind of ridiculous. I, I see loads of people doing like crossover crunches and just body weight crunches and like oblique twists and all this shit. And don't get me wrong, I've been there before doing those exercises, but I've never seen as much development in my core than with decline crunches or weighted leg raises. These exercises that you're limited to less than 20 reps on, right? And it's actually challenging and you can get close to failure and you get to the point where you actually can't move your core into the crunch anymore. That's what's really gonna help your core grow. And this has been an area that I've been obsessed with over the years as I've always wanted to have those abs. And now that I've finally got them, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying I've got the best set of abs as I'm not as lean as I'd need to be for them to be look, looking well defined, but my abs are still visible at a fairly high body fat percentage. So I think that goes to show that my ab development is pretty decent. Anyway, finished up with 30 minutes of cardio on the bike and you can pause the video right here if you wanna take a look at my full rep sets and weights for the workout. And then for my post-workout meal, I've got a second bowl of protein porridge, this time with some blueberries in there as well. Then I've got some chicken breast and sweet potato. Then I've got some Greek yogurt with fruit and nuts. Right, so as you can probably tell from the lighting, I am now recording this the day after because I went to the Indian restaurant, as I mentioned at the start of the video, and yeah, had an absolute feast, stayed up pretty late. Um, here, I'll put the calories and macros on screen for you. About 5,000 calories is my estimate for the day. I could be well off with that. I don't really have any idea. I kind of just entered things into a chronometer that seemed to be similar to what I, what I ate. But yeah, it was probably more than that. Um, so yeah, a lovely leg day yesterday. Although my ankle is feeling this morning I'm not quite sure why because definitely didn't tweak it during the leg day so it might just be poor recovery from a poor night's sleep really because yeah, I didn't get many hours of sleep but anyway 
hopefully I'll be training arms in the next video that you'll see. But we'll see if I can actually make it to the gym or not. Um, I'll try my best. Anyway, cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next video.